Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the career training company HowToBecome.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to complete a winning NHS application form for any Band 8 job role. To achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I will be giving you tips on how to complete a winning NHS Band 8 application form suitable for all Band 8 job roles. I will then provide you with a structure to use in your NHS application form supporting information to increase your chances of success. I'll cover what the NH application form assessors are looking for and I'll also give you further resources including these slides and my templates to help you pass your NHS application form. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass any job application and interview that you may attend and I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at how to structure your NHS application form. Now when completing your NHS Band 8 application form, you will need to submit a supporting information section that demonstrates your suitability for the role that you're applying for. So what should you include in your NHS application form? Well, for Band 8 roles, I recommend you talk about these six things. Please take note. Number one, introduction, your motivation for applying. Number two, the relevance of your application, e.g. your experience and your education that you have. Number three, provide specific examples of where you've proven your competence for the job role. Number four, align your professional goals with the NHS's goals. Number five, show you've demonstrated the NHS's values, that's really important. And number six, end with a winning conclusion. I'm going to walk you through these six different areas that I would include in my NHS application form supporting information. And this is to give you an idea of what you could include in your own. So the first thing I would do is to start your supporting information with an introduction. Your introduction should highlight your motivation for the position and provide assurance that you will succeed in the role. Here is my sample response to help you. As a committed healthcare professional with a track record of providing excellent patient care and managing productive interdisciplinary teams, I'm excited to apply for this NHS Band 8A position. I'm confident that I can succeed in this tough position thanks to my enthusiasm for healthcare, leadership skills and dedication to continuous improvement. Before we move to the second part, when you're ready and if you want to, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website howtobecome.com and you can instantly download my full set of NHS application form supporting information templates. It's a brilliant resource. So the second part is relevance. This is your chance to emphasize your education, qualifications, any previous roles and experience you have and as this is a band 8 role, your management or leadership experience. Be sure to emphasize your love of healthcare and your commitment to bettering patient outcomes. Here is my sample response to help you. I have consistently looked for opportunities to increase my knowledge and abilities throughout my career. I am registered with the Nursing and Midwifery Council and have a degree in midwifery from King's College London. I have also successfully completed a variety of professional development courses such as Community Practitioner Nurse Prescribing V150, and leadership and management courses which have given me the skills necessary to influence improvements in patient outcomes and service delivery. My position as senior nurse, where I have the honour of managing a diverse team of healthcare professionals, has been one of the defining moments of my professional journey. I take pride in having created a cooperative and encouraging environment that enables every team member to provide their best effort. We significantly improve patient satisfaction and care quality measures through effective communication and active engagement. Okay, let's move on to the third part, which is giving specific examples. Here, you need to give specific instances where you've overcome obstacles or proven your aptitude for the position. So let's take a look at what I have put. I have successfully managed and contributed to a number of significant projects in my role as leader that has had a real influence on service delivery. In order to cut waiting times and guarantee that patients received prompt and appropriate care, for example, I was the driving force behind the development of a streamlined triage system. Furthermore, I played a driving role in the creation and implementation of an infection control program that significantly decreased healthcare associated infections at our hospital. 
The fourth area to focus on in your supporting information are the NHS goals. Here, you want to align your goals with that of the NHS. If you show that you have shared goals, you're more likely to get hired. Also, you want to demonstrate that you are familiar with current trends and any difficulties the NHS is facing. So here is my response. I am familiar with the NHS's changing requirements and difficulties, having been with the NHS for eight years, carefully following its regulations and procedures as they have adapted over time. The chance to contribute my knowledge and talents to the NHS's aim of providing top-notch healthcare services and consistently enhancing patient outcomes greatly excites me. Okay, the fifth area is a really important one and that is the NHS's values. Discuss how your values, such as compassion, teamwork and dedication, align with those of the NHS's values. I firmly think that all elements of our job should be driven by providing compassionate, patient-centered care, and I'm completely devoted to the values and ideals of the NHS. I have consistently fought for patient safety and rights, working to make sure that every person is treated with the utmost respect and consideration throughout their experience receiving medical treatment. Finally, you want to deliver a fantastic conclusion. So summarize why you want this position by matching the key requirements of the job description and the NHS's values. Be sure to sell yourself as the best candidate for the role. Overall, I'd like to say that I'm enthusiastic to take on the duties and difficulties that come with this NHS Band 8A position. I feel I'm an excellent candidate for this job thanks to my experience, commitment to patient care and drive for service improvement. I'm excited to use my leadership experience, problem solving skills and passion for excellence to benefit the patients of the NHS. I appreciate your time in considering my application. What I want to do now is to give you some really important NHS application form tips. But don't forget, make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Head over to my website, howtobecome.com and you can instantly download my full set of NHS application form supporting information templates tailored for each band with over 30 templates, including 12 templates specifically for band eight roles. So tip number one is this. So the first tip is to demonstrate the NHS values. So throughout your application, be sure to mention the NHS values and provide examples of when you have demonstrated them. The assessors use the NHS values to help assess your application. NHS application form tip number two, be concise, maintain a clear and focused statement. Make sure you avoid using overly technical or unnecessary jargon. NHS application form tip number three, quantify your successes. So what I mean by that is to include figures to demonstrate your success, such as the quantity of patients that you have treated or the number of projects you have managed. Tip number four is to proofread your application. This should go without saying, but double check for grammatical and spelling mistakes. A statement that is presented well demonstrates your attention to detail and shows that you care about your application. Admin and note taking is critical to NHS roles. Don't make any errors. And finally, tip number five is to match the job description. This is probably the most powerful tip I can give you. Remember to match any relevant experiences or life skills you have gained to the job description. The NHS assessor is looking for details and evidence of how you match the key requirements of the job role. So click that link in the top right hand corner right now. And as I say, you can download my 30 NHS application form supporting information templates, where you will also get my NHS interview masterclass training for free. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their application forms and their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you have any questions regarding any job interview or application form with the NHS, please do let me know the name of the job role in the comment section below where I can get back to you with even more advice and tips. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your NHS application. Have a brilliant day.